This summer, organized baseball celebrated the 100th anniversary of the formation of the Negro Leagues. And in August, we showed you the important role Toledo played from the very earliest days of black baseball, including hosting three different Negro League teams. Well, today, the African American Legacy Project of Northwest Ohio, along with representatives of the city, county, and the Mud Hens, announcing there will be a historical marker placed at the site of the old Swain Field, the corner of Detroit Avenue and Monroe Street. That is where the Toledo Tigers, the Toledo Crawfords, and the Toledo Cubs all played their home games and was also the site of numerous barnstorming games featuring the best players of the Negro Leagues. And as much as today is about celebrating the past, it's also about the future. We want the community to celebrate uh, 100 years of our effort. And from the time that the Jackie Robinson first broke the color barrier to now, you know, we've seen the change, but we shouldn't forget from whence we came. We think that to be able to tell that story to younger people and people older, it, it, there's, there's some value in it, uh, quite a bit of value, you know, resilience, you know, uh, you know uh, the, the earnest effort to achieve at the highest level, even when the barriers were so high. So this is, these are critical stories. Kids need to learn how to play it correctly. And even starting as early as four to seven years of age with T-ball and then going up through the levels, who knows, we may have one of the next nationally great baseball players right here in Toledo, but they haven't been able to be developed because we don't have the teams and the infrastructure for it to take place. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to have this conversation at an even, even deeper level so that we can involve the people who can make it happen.